Okay, this is the sixth video. I thought of one more feature uh, to, do to demonstrate, or maybe two more features. Um, I'm still in the table of contents. This is literally one minute after I stopped the last video. And you can see that very book that we just purchased, this Faust uh, in English, is now available on the Kindle. And when I say purchased, uh, you saw I paid zero uh, for it. We can open it and look at it, and it starts off right at the book, it doesn't have that those those uh, that long preface that you sometimes get with the um, with the uh, versions from Project Gutenberg. Uh, one more thing I wanted to show you is how to put in numbers. If you ever f have a need to type a number, you already saw how to type words. But um, let's go to the menu here, and again there was this go to option. We used that before to go to the beginning of the book. Um, Let's see, uh, go to, and it allows you to enter a location number and anywhere from one to 2,588. Uh, this tells you that right now you're on location 40 of 2588. We also know we're 1%, approximately 1% of the way through the book. Um, this is as close as we come to having page numbers on the Kindle, but you can kind of use a little math uh, to decide where you really want to be, and say I want to be about halfway through the book, I might type in the number, say, 1200 or 1300 there. To type a number, all you do is hit symbol before you type anything, and up comes this display, which allows you to select any of these symbols, uh, also handy when you're typing a note, or when you're typing in a number. So it's a little bit slow. We have to cursor over the one, select the one. You see the one appears here. And let's say we said 1300, cursor to the three, select that. That's good. Get to the zero. There's the zero and we're still on the zero. We can select that again. And then to go to that location, we've got 1300 typed in. Again, we'll use the cursor keys to get to this word location. The down didn't seem to work because I'm still stuck in here. Maybe if I press symbol again, it will close. That's what it tells me. Okay. We learn as we go on these videos. Um, down. Ah, it got right to location. I'm not sure why it skipped that. Maybe it recognized it had a number typed in. But press enter, and all of a sudden I'm 50% of the way through the book into a, a much later scene. Um, also, as you saw, uh, there's a way to search within the book. I haven't really thought of a very good word to search for, but let's simply see what happens if we select search again from the menu screen. And let's just say, I'm going to say devil because I believe the devil makes an appearance somewhere in Faust, although I don't know if he's known by that name. Let's find out. Enter. Okay, and there, everywhere that word appears, you will find it highlighted, and it looks like there are 21 pages of search results, and so you see a little bit of the context, and I believe if you select, say I, how would I search within a result? I'm going to hit enter again just to see what happens, and that got me, I believe, to the first result here. Um, and now I can see the context surrounding the word devil there. Say I press back to get back to my search results. And then I could probably, there's a page one of 21, I can use the page keys to navigate within those. And uh, that's all very interesting and perhaps handy, although that may not be a particularly interesting search. Uh, that's all I could think of.